What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 15.1.1 a little under a month after the release of iOS 15.1. And this update is only available for the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 13 models as you can see from the release notes on my iPhone right here. But Apple did not release any other software today, it was just this iOS 15.1.1 release. So in this video, we're going to be covering what's new in the software update and if you should update or not. So taking a look at the size of this update, you can see it came in at 386.1 megabytes on my iPhone 13. That was coming from iOS 15.1. So that size will vary depending on the device and the version you're coming from, but it should be under 500 megabytes for everybody. And if we go to check out the build number, if we go to our settings, general about 15.1.1, we could see the new build number here is 19B81. And then if we scroll down to the modem firmware, you can see that this has also been updated. So it went from 1.15.02 to 1.15.05. .05. So that's going to be a key for this update because that's one of the biggest things that has been changed, you know, in this update going from 15.1 to 15.1.1. So let's go ahead and talk about what's new in this update. And the first thing, as you guys saw in the release notes, it basically tells you the one thing that's been fixed in this update is that it improves call drop performance on iPhone 12 and iPhone 13 models. And that's why I said that modem update is going to be so big and important in this update. So if we look back at the iOS 15.1 release notes, we could see that this was one of the remaining issues after the final release of iOS 15.1. So it says, users might experience loss of audio during calls, followed by the call being dropped in some conditions. So this was an issue that quite a few people were facing now, I never personally had issues with the phone application and dropping calls and things like that, but it seemed to be pretty widespread because a few people in my comments on my 15.1 video after the fact, you know, like, you know, a couple weeks after it released, came back and left comments saying that they had issues not only with phone calls, but also with FaceTime calls and WhatsApp calls. So this seemed to be affecting pretty much any type of call you can make on the iPhone 12 and 13, it was being affected by this bug where you know the phone call would just simply drop or they would hear static noise and just really low quality phone calls. So this update should fix all of that. Now I did also notice two other bug fixes in this update. Now again, Apple only mentioned this one, but of course we always find out others as we use the software. And the first thing I noticed is that the auto brightness bug appears to be fixed. So this has been affecting a couple of people and it didn't happen to me every time, but sometimes when I would unlock my phone, you know, when I have auto brightness turned on, I would unlock my phone and the phone brightness would be all the way down at zero. And it would take a couple of minutes until it adjusted to, you know, the lighting conditions and went up in brightness. So I did not have that ever since I rebooted my phone after updating to 15.1.1. So if you were having issues with auto brightness, that could be fixed for you. It was fixed for me. And then also the overlapping notifications appears to be fixed as well. So sometimes I still had notifications that would overlap each other here in the notification center. So that should be fixed if you were having that. But aside from those minor bug fixes, I really haven't noticed anything else new here in iOS 15.1.1 as expected. This is going to be a very, very minor update given the size size given the fact that it was only released for the iPhone 12 and iPhone 13, you really can't expect too much to be changed here. And that's the case. Now, as far as remaining bugs, some people are still seeing an issue with their storage. So if you go to your settings, general iPhone storage, some people are still seeing issues with the wrong storage numbers being calculated up top. Some people are seeing a 256 gigabyte, you know, cap when they only have a 128 gigabyte device. Some people are seeing the calculations wrong people are still having issues overall with storage. Now that was fixed for me in 15.1, but it appears that others are still having those storage issues. There also appears to be an issue on iOS 15.1 with CarPlay. So I highly doubt that this update will fix that. Some people are having issues with CarPlay, mainly the maps applications are really laggy and buggy. And then some people also, their device is just simply not recognized on 15.1 when they plug it in in their car. So hopefully that gets fixed in iOS 15.2. We also have issues with focus modes and automations in iOS 15.1, and that is still not resolved here in 15.1.1. So basically if I set up an automation to turn on or off a focus mode when I leave home, for example, it will just simply not work. So hopefully 15.2 fixes that. 
but don't expect a fix for that in this update today. We also still have the bug with Siri reverting back to the default voice from time to time. So sometimes when you ask Siri something, it will revert back to the default voice instead of the voice that you have set up here inside of your Siri settings. And then finally, the handoff to HomePod feature is also still extremely buggy and slow. So I test this every single time there's a new software update just in case it gets fixed, you know, and it goes under the radar, but no, it's still not fixed. It's still very laggy when I switch, when I go to the airplane menu here and select one of my home pods, it's still very buggy and very laggy. It's been like that ever since iOS 15.0. And then as far as security updates, no CVEs were published on Apple's security page. So while there might be minor bugs that have been patched, this update is not going to patch anything major. So you're not going to get any security benefits by updating to 15.1.1. Now, as far as performance goes, performance is going to be exactly the same as 15.1. I mean, this is simply a bug fix update. It's a very minor bug fix update just for two models. You're not going to see any type of performance improvement. I did run some Geekbench tests here and the results were exactly the same pretty much as they were on 15.1. So do not update expecting any changes to come to the performance and especially the same with battery life. I would not expect any changes to battery life. You know, we could see a fix based on, you know, your calls dropping. Of course, if you have a call that drops and then you call them back, that's going to take up more battery life. But just in general, you're not going to see better battery life just from updating to 15.1 to 15.1.1. So don't expect anything to change there. So now should you update to iOS 15.1.1? And I say, absolutely. I mean, phone calls are extremely important in your day-to-day -day life. You don't wanna have you know, your phone calls dropping when you're on an important business meeting or you know, you're talking to somebody about something very important. You don't want your phone call to just simply drop or have issues with the sound of that phone call. So you should definitely update so you don't have those issues. Even if you didn't have them before, it could pop up randomly when you're on 15.1. So I would go ahead an update you're really not going to lose out on anything your battery life your performance is not going to get worse you're not going to lose any features or anything like that so i would go ahead and update your iphone 12 or iphone 13 to 15.1.1 as soon as possible now as far as what's next for apple we got ios 15.1.1 today on wednesday the 17th now there's a possibility of seeing a 15.1.2 but i think that's very unlikely i think we're going to see ios 15.2 before you know if 15.1.2 comes i don't think that's very likely so i think an ios 15.2 we're currently on beta 3 right now i think a 15.2 could come as soon as really as soon as the first week of december but i think it's going to come around the week of december 6th so maybe on december 7th or december 8th is when we could see ios 15.2 get released to everybody. It's not just going to be for the iPhone 12 and 13, it's going to be for every device. And then after iOS 15.2 releases, I would not expect anything major to get released from Apple. We could see a 15.2.1 at some point from the 13th all the way until you know the first week of January, but I would not expect anything major. Definitely not a 15.3 or anything like that. So of course I will keep you guys up to date. I do make these iOS videos all the time. And of course I do my follow up every single weekend as well. Well, so if anything else comes about on 15.1.1, I will talk about it in my follow-up video this weekend on Saturday. But anyways, guys, there you have it. iOS 15.1.1, a very, very minor update for the iPhone 12 and iPhone 13 to improve the call quality and call drop performance. So hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. And of course, make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS update videos. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.